Hey guys, welcome back. I know I'm dressed the same as my Saturday video, but I told you in that video I was filming this video too, so you can't blame me. Today I have a book haul for you, and there's nothing else really to say except for I have a book haul. So, the first book that I have is The Adoration of Jenna Fox. She wasn't supposed to survive the accident, but she did. And this is by Mary E. Pearson. And this is about a girl who was in a coma. She woke up, and she doesn't really remember her life, so people are just showing her videos of her life. And she kind of has doubts about it, I believe. So she's trying to figure out who she really is. The next book is Airhead by Meg Cabot. And I don't really understand what this is about. It just seems like um, like there was an accident. This girl, I'm guessing she's going to become famous because of it or something like that. So I just thought it was interesting and it was only $3 and I got it half off. So I figured, why not? Then I got the book Dust Lands. And this is by Moira Young. So this book apparently is better than Hunger Games, at least that's what the back says. So we'll see if that's actually true. But this is about this girl, her twin brother um, is captured by these people and she has to go and get him. So it's all about that. It's kind of a dystopian society book, which those are my favorite. So I hope this is good because I know people are, like the back literally says, natural for Hunger Games fans. It's on par with the Hunger Games. So we'll see if that's true. Then I got The Possibility of Now by Kim Culbertson, and I got this because it was only a dollar and it was kind of interesting looking. This is just about a girl who is kind of like me almost, someone who is just very, very smart all their lives and just such a try hard, and then she's like, wait, why am I trying hard? And she like runs, like not runs away, but she like goes to live with her dad, and she's gonna go and like figure out like, why am I trying so hard again? And she kind of becomes a slacker. So yeah, I feel like this book I'm gonna be able to relate to a lot because I am like queen of slacker. Next I got the book I Heart You, You Haunt Me by Lisa Schroeder and the reason why I got this is just because I randomly saw it and I was like you know what this could be good and I feel like it's nice to have some books that are easier reads and also it's written all in poems like so it kind of looks like the Burns um what is it like Crash is that what it's called or Burn like those books so I think this looks pretty interesting it's about a girl who um, girl meets boy, girl loses boy, girl gets boy back, sort of. So she's kind of like seeing a ghost of him. I got this Inspiring Words, 30 Verses from the Bible You Can Color coloring book. And I thought this would be nice because I have a Harry Potter coloring book, but sometimes you just want to color something more simple. So I figured this would be a nice alternative because it's just like, it's words and it's just more simple pretty designs, not so like intricate. So I think that'll be nice. Plus it's inspiring. So then I got this from my friend Cece. She got into a college and she's going in the fall, so I want to get her a congratulations gift. I didn't actually spend $70 on this, I got it half off, um, but it's the Harry Potter collection, so I think she's going to really like it. She only has the first two books and she's obsessed with Harry Potter, so now she has all of them and they kind of sit in this really cool box. So I think she's going to really, really like it, so I'm excited to give that to her. And the last thing I got are these little Star Wars Funkos. <laughs> They're so stinking cute. They were all a dollar, so I only paid five dollars. And I figured they'd be so cute on my shelf with all of my um, box Funkos. Here's uh, C-3PO. So he's really cute. Then here's a Stormtrooper. I think he's awfully cute. Then I have Darth Vader, which he's so cool. And so These are so cute. I love them. Then I have a little Yoda, which he is also really stinking cool. I think he might be the coolest one. Or he might be tired of R2-D2. And then here's a little R2-D2, so very cute. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button because it helps me out greatly. Helps get my channel more seen by people, which I'd really appreciate. Stay tuned for next Saturday's video. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but I do know that it's going to be good. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!